guys! So you've probably noticed that my background has never looked better and my foreground has never looked worse. I'd like to say that at least the highlighter is popping, but sadly the only thing popping are my pants, thanks to all the pre-Christmas feasting I've been doing. So this video is going to be a little bit different. The festive season is upon us, and for the past week I've been road tripping through Queensland with my best friend Nitty. This is what we've been up to. Hello? On a scale of one to drinking coffee by our coffee sign, how white are you? Yeah! Yeah! See if this works. Let's hope the camera doesn't fall. Okay, now that I have you all gathered here today, it is time for a little story time regarding my hair and also my bladder. So a few days ago, I went to get my hair dyed and the hair salon that I go to is in this big shopping center and has no toilet of its own. It's always a little bit of a struggle to make it through the entire appointment without peeing, but I always make it. However, however, this time, Oh, I was getting my hair lightened because, you know, summer I thought it would look cool for a change. That stuff takes time. So I'm sitting there and they start pouring me this licorice tea that's free and every time I finish a glass, they just top me up. And you guys know how I am with free stuff, so I just go for it. The freaking hair appointment is expensive enough as it is. I'm gonna get my money's worth, even if that means kidney failure and hypernatremia. So, so, so half an hour goes by and I need to pee. Another hour goes by and I'm sitting in the hell Hello. Another hour goes by and I'm sitting in the hair wash station about to have my foils taken out and my bladder is- wait, no, let me demonstrate. So I'm sitting in the hair wash station. My bladder's going numb. There's really nothing left to do. There's really no other option. We're on level one of the shopping center. There is a toilet on level five directly above us up this back set of stairs. The other option is the toilet on level one that is on literally the other side of the shopping center. And it is a big shopping center. So I have to make a quick decision. Walk up four flights of stairs or sprint 300 meters to the other end of the shopping center. Next minute. <laughs> next minute, I'm in my black salon dressing gown. Looking like Harry Potter fleeing from Dementors. Running across the shopping center with enough silver foil in my head to prevent the aliens from infiltrating my subconscious and stealing the thought process that led me to choosing the toilet that required the most public humiliation possible. But that in mind, that slash was more magical than all of the Harry Potter franchise combined. Anyway, because of this whole fiasco, my hair foils were left in too long, and now I have actual blonde streaks in my hair. And when I put it in a bun, it looks like I've got a little snowball sitting on my head, which at least is festively appropriate. Tis the season to be jolly. It's a Christmas miracle. And that pretty much is why your foreground has seen better days. <gasps> Fancy milk when you're fancy, but you're also lactating. So Nitty and I brought these raw desserts in the morning. We've been waiting all day to eat them. <laughs> mm, yummy. <laughs> it's funny because turkeys have too much neck, but I have not enough neck. <laughs> After that, I kept trying to get the turkeys on camera, but they kept avoiding me. It's because it knows we're ready for our Christmas feast. <laughs> that little girl kicked the turkey. Don't worry, the little girl did not kick the turkey. She just shooed it away with her foot. Don't play with your food. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, guys, so Nitty and I don't have a Christmas tree to decorate this year, so we're going to decorate her car. Hey Nitty, guess what? It's December and my channel isn't monetized. Do you know what that means? Copyrighted Christmas music. Fucking Christmas, mate. Yeah, hello, bring, bring, hello. Yeah, um, I'd like to report some suspiciously festive activity on the highway. Nitty, <laughs> you better be keeping this festive installation up in your car after I leave. Don't be a fucking Grinch, Nitty. <laughs> Look at my mouth when it's open. <laughs> This Christmas, if you're running low on the festive funds, invest in a pair of extra festive earrings. They come as a... They come as a... 14 for three dollars. <laughs> Buy them all for your friends. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna be saying, I ain't got balls this Christmas. Feeling fucking festive. <laughs> if you're wondering what happened to the Christmas star, it's the best we can do this Christmas. On the plus side, it smells like fucking lemons. Yeah. A good movie is not defined by the acting, writing, or even the directing, but really the quality of one's snacks. It's exactly what it looks like. Couple of snacks for a couple of snacks. <laughs> when the party's over, eat all the leftover snacks. Quote Billie Eilish. 
Okay, so Zarafa's Coffee is the first ever drive through coffee place that I've ever been to. The greatest thing about it is that we can sit in the car, order coffee, and I don't even have to, well, do my pants up. <gasps> yeah. Excellent. Mm. So nasty. <laughs> so, if you're wondering how my flight was, it was a little disappointing to be honest. The simultaneously best and worst thing about plane flights is the free snacks. One, you're getting free food. Who doesn't love free food? But on the second hand, they always give you those nasty ass little rice crispies. But anyway, with that in mind, I'm flying Jetstar. I get on the plane, I immediately fall asleep, which is what I do every time I get on a plane. And then I wake up around snack time because I've conditioned my body to wake up around the proposition of snacks. Anyway, snacks come around. No, there are no free snacks. You have to pay $9 for a tiny bag of nuts. And I'm like, mm, no thank you. If you get on a plane and you don't receive any free snacks, did you even travel anywhere? Jetstar has booked a first class ticket to my bad books and no free snacks will be supplied. Speaking of Jetstar as well, not only do Jetstar make you pay for your snacks, you have to pay to take a bag onto the plane. I'm not paying for my snacks and I'm not paying for a bag. I packed all of my things into this one tiny ass little backpack and we can really only hope that I packed enough tampons because the dangerous combination of my time of the month and Queensland hot weather hay fever can really only mean one thing. A weaponized vagina. I'm sitting here sneezing out tampons like a freaking M60. And you don't want to know what happens when I run out of ammo. So that's how my day's been so far. <laughs> my hair's never looked more like a Yeti, actually. But, you know, I've got Zarafa's coffee. Oh, no. I started filming my leg for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever Nitty and I come to Queensland, we always go to this food place called The Collective. It's basically you go and sit in this little... How would you best describe it? It's called The Collective because it's a collection of different restaurants and you go and sit down you can order from any one of the restaurants. Anyway, when we were coming up to Queensland this time, we were planning on eating exclusively vegan and then yesterday we ended up going to The Collective and eating pork belly bites and um, we're going there again tomorrow. We're gonna have more pork belly bites. The vegan diet's going pretty well. Vegan when convenient. This is gonna be like a ton of videos of me with the camera up in my mouth. Can you see it? This is genius. They've got this like super cool bag contraption on the back of their car. I would never be able to do that. I'd just be scared that the bags would not be there by the time we reached our destination. If only that could be the case with all of my baggage. Oh my god, the bags are fabric. <laughs> <laughs> They're fabric bags. Their clothes are going to be soaked. Karma makes me suffer on a daily basis for laughing at the misfortunes of others. <laughs> <laughs> Life advice from Ella. The best way to wear a shirt is to not really wear a shirt. Wait, out of context, that just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh man, how much that customized number plate cost? Cost a lot. So I normally cut all my flop jokes out of my videos before I post them, but this time I'm just gonna leave them all in there so you can get a first hand experience of what I put nitty through. <laughs> Oh my god, let's go there and poop after. <laughs> <laughs> local liquor. Get out of my own vein. You start walking around, so it just comes up a lick seat. Like, oh, don't worry, that's just the local liquor. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Nitty and I just passed a sign that said $10 golfing, walking only, which means $10 for golf, but you don't even get a freaking golf buggy. The whole reason of going to play golf is so that you get the chance to drive illegally without a license. Why else would you go golfing if you don't get to drive the freaking golf carts? This is coming from someone who doesn't have their license, so I assume it's different for people who actually drive. I'd really love to do one of those typical car vlogs where you just sit in the car and dance, but unfortunately Nitty has banned all whipping and nae nae <laughs> from her vehicle. So there'll be no dancing today. The only whipping Nitty allows in her car is whiplash. The greatest thing about traveling with Nitty is that if I make a bad joke and she doesn't laugh the first time, I just keep on saying the joke, getting increasingly louder and louder, she will eventually laugh. You just got moose. <laughs> so my joke was, actually wasn't even a joke, I was just musing. I was moosing. <laughs> if you, okay, so I didn't explain this very well, so I'm gonna just, so I'm just gonna say it again here. What I said was, imagine if there was a karate movie where you squeeze someone like toothpaste until they crack themselves and then say, you got moosed. If you're not laughing, neither was Nitty until I repeated it for the fourth time. You just got moosed. <laughs> you just got moosed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a pretty. Be a shame if you got moose. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question. Your first ever sexing experience is getting hot and heavy. Things are going great. Then he texts, I'm gonna moose the shit out of you. <laughs> what do you do? Do you take it or leave it? What do you do? <gasps> yeah. An hour and a half later, we've arrived. The only downside of this is that I have to put my pants back on. 
So the first thing that Nidhi and I were going to do in Byron Bay was that we're going to go to this place called Crystal Castle, which is basically this big collection of cool rocks. But the prices were less favorable, and if I can't eat it, I'm not going to invest the money into it. So here are a selection of uh, photos taken at Crystal Castle by other people with ourselves photoshopped into them. <laughs> Enjoy! Also, if you're wondering how Crystal Castle came about, Daddy told me my big rock collection would never come of anything, but look where I am now, Daddy! Look where I am now! Anyway, these are a few of the other highlights of the trip. Firstly, I discovered the meaning of MWY while traveling on the highway. I know that HWY stands for highway, so logically I could only assume that MWY stands for my way. I later discovered it stands for motorway, which makes little to no sense. I used these fancy toilets at this fancy cafe and the toilet doors had these pictures of minotaurs on them and one door had a minotaur and the letter M which I assumed would either stand for Mrs or Minotaur of which I am both so I used that one. I quickly found out the M stands for male. Uh Ella, that's the front seat. You can drive. I may not have a driver's license but I have a license to whip. And it's the same thing! <laughs> if you're still here and haven't unsubscribed yet, I honestly applaud you. So here's another great view that I'd love to ruin with my face. Me and this waterfall have everything in common except for breathtaking beauty. Firstly, we both fall. Me, probably because I'm tripping over something or falling to my knees in an existential crisis. That or I'm falling for the first person who asks for my name before giving me coffee. In exchange for money. This truck speaks to me on a spiritual level. Um, Ella, what have you done? I purchased an entirely new Hawaiian shirt so that I could unleash my food baby. <laughs> oh. Expectations. Real oh wait. Ex oh. <laughs> Expectations. Reality. <laughs> anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope all get festively plucked this Christmas because that is certainly what I will be doing. If you know you're subscribed, you know what to do. And if you're planning on unsubscribing, make sure it's only significant satisfaction of subscribing again. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye!